So we're back out again with the new Golf Dream versus Reality t-shirts on. Shout out to Brand Identity and Southend for embroidering them, getting them done so quickly for us. Bit of a uh, tube of outfit today because idiot here forgot the tripod, so we're actually holding the camera with the hands. Well, so. that's not true really. He did bring the pri ah, tripod, but he <laughs> bought the broken one, which he should have chucked weeks and weeks ago, but he's still got it. Yeah, don't be a hoarder. No. So, anyway, we're down at a new course today, one in Kent. Where are we, Dan? We're in Birchwood. Birchwood. I've been here once before to play foot golf on the other course they've got. So we're now trying out the 18th hole. Just walking down the first hole at the moment. Both of us are on the green. And I must admit, the course looks pretty nice so far. So let's get some golf filmed and show you around. And then we'll do the review in the car and let you know what we think of it. Both on for birdie on the first hole, par four. I was worried about that going past. Yeah, here. they're a little bit fast, these greens. Danny is shot and it rolled right across the green. And that's birdie chance. Hole one. Terrible. Left it a bit. A bit to do, just like me. Misjudged it, as always. It's what rubbish golfers do. It's a par. Nice. Good start. Par on the first. Par Ooh, look at us. Par, par. Watch it go downhill from now, though. The only way is up, yep. score wise. Hole two. Par five. Dog leg right. That's why you can't see the flag. Strike. Actually, my oh no, you run a fairway. Perfect. Two fairways found. Second up. Lovely shot as well, there, Dan. Up together. Yeah, that's actually for once. That's where I wanted to put it, and that never happens. Must be the new shirts. Yeah, maybe. That's what we've been missing. Yeah, we should have got that anyway. Should have got these months Ooh, ago. Oh, shirt friend. Oh, friend. <laughs> Stands about 240 out. Uphill. Pins up there. But as, as some wise old man called Danny told me once, if your bad shots can go straight, then you're going in the right direction. And he has no excuse to be miserable today, because as t as of time of filming, like this video is probably going to be out about six months after today, but West Ham are currently top of the Premier League. So he can't have any any reason to be miserable. Well, that is why I'm up front, why I'm up front. Yeah, cheer up. Pin looks, I can just see the top of the flag. Right, dead straight in line with you. Might even be on the green, you know. We've got to be the most unfittest duo in golf. Both blowing out of our asses walking up that hill. At least it ain't got in the rough. So, Matt's actually on for eagle. A long shot. Yeah, what is it, about 25 foot? Well, if it does go in, it will be my first ever eagle. Good effort. They're not fast, these greens. Pretty fast. 
a on the practice green, it, it, they were pretty slow. I was yeah. quite surprised. This hole, Love steep downhill. You can't really, just in the distance there, you can probably see the green. Nice setting, but a hell of a lot can go wrong. Oh, you've cut across that again, but I think that's going to work out well. Yep. Down three fairways in a row. Yep. Get me on the PGA Tour. Strike. It's got to be a fairway finder. Yep. Down there. Our first par three of the day, hole number four. Yeah, hole number four. 130 yards, 38 yards to the front of the green. The pins just down there. Bunkers either side. Probably just see my terrible shot. Can I just remind you that West Ham are top of the Premier League? No, it's got nothing to do with the golf game, though. Not as short as my one though. Apologies for the sound. Um, our mics have died. broken, they've died. So sound quality is not going to be as good, but we'll make do for the rest of this. But the golf quality will still be bad. Oh, that's always. That's consistent. <laughs> Stay out the trees. Oh, that's well out of the trees. Yep, in good position. No tripod, no marks, but at least the sun is out. Strike. I didn't catch it very well, but... You've hit the fairway. As golf dream versus reality tradition goes, we are playing blind again. Massive uphill, can't see anything. Just a stab in the dark. I get. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but... I'm very much like that. The more I play, the worse I get. Well, it looks like a nice shot, but... We don't know what's up there. No. This is one hilly course already. I think we're on about hole six at the moment. And it's every hole seems to be uphill. Hopefully we've got some more downhill ones, because I'm going to be knackered otherwise. And that's 179 yards out. Flag is just there in the distance, if you can see that. It's a lovely strike. Oh, it's on the green at the back, just yeah. off the back. Yeah, just gone off the back, but... Nice, nice hit though. Rarity. Just a quick one on the facilities here. So, the 18 hole course, then there's another course, which I believe is 9 holes which I have been here before and played that, but it's foot golf. Um, got a track man range, and this course has got a track man range. I can guarantee that. And that's pretty epic. I'll put a little video of it after this clip. Um, and then it's got like a nice restaurant. There's actually a gym and stuff here. Putting green, buggies. So you've got everything you need from a golf course, really. So, so far the facilities, top notch. so far here at Birchwood. Of course it's looking nice. 
despite the bad day so far, breaking the mics. I'm not having a tripod. Roll down though. I mean, you'd be surprised how far that'll carry. Yeah, par three, saying 115 yards. So I haven't hit a green on a par three in about six months. Well, that's set the bar for me. You know, I haven't hit a green on a par three for such a long time, and I don't know why, because 100 yards out on the course, I'm all right, but as soon as I get on the par three, murder. Dan show me how it's done. Got a bunker there though, so maybe I'm not. Well, better than my shot anyway. That man's got to redeem himself from that last shot. Take two. Decent distance, but I think that's just yeah. over that mound. Par threes are not my friend at the moment, they really are not. It's terrible. Golf's not my friend. Bunk fest continues. Dan's got his bucket and spade. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, it was lovely. I can't moan when there's, I can't moan about these bunkers at the moment. There's actually sand in it. So. Yeah, nice, like Bermudan Beach. Oh, just reached hole nine. Well, as you know from the video, it's not been ideal. No tripod, broken microphone. So apologies for any sound problems and, and stuff like that. But we're doing our best to try and get as much of the course as we can. We'll rectify that. Yeah, next time. we'll try. And we are going to be filming again in a couple of days. So hopefully we'll have new mics by then. Um, but who knows? If not, it might be but it might be a similar situation. But nine holes down. So on the ninth hole now, what's your yeah. thoughts so far? It's a nice course. Um, really hilly. I wasn't expecting it to be no, as hilly as it is. Um, I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be hilly because I've never done any <laughs> research on what it was like. I just yeah, assumed. But I mean, it is so far sort of up, up to nine. It's been exceptionally like up, yeah. and, up and down holes. A lot of lot of blind shots and stuff. I, I won't I won't go too much detail because we do that at the end. But it'd be interesting to see what the next nine is going to be. I hope it flattens out just for the yeah. sake of my lungs and my legs because. Yeah. Otherwise, I might need a defibrillator by the 18th. We, we might have invested in the buggy. If you don't, know. <laughs> don't know, listen, maybe next time. Anyway, let's get on, play some more golf. You've got a lot of height on that, but again, it's coming round into the fairway, I think. Oh, it's on the top of that mound. Yeah, I'm just hitting it way too high at the moment. I don't know whether I'm hitting it up too well, it high. Don't help the fact that this is downhill, so even if you hit it straight, see, it looks. See how my driving's going out the top of the club there, look. Not great. And that's the range you can see in the distance. Nice little range. A bit pricey on the balls, but you do get the track man with, with your uh, bait, so get real time feedback of how bad you are. You're taking the right line there. Down the hill. Yeah, I think that's the best one I've hit so far. Yeah. The luck of the shirts has returned. I assume that soon run out of that line. Beautiful conditions at this course. Well, he didn't. He didn't even wave me to take that. I was looking at the uh, well, things. Stand in, get my shot on camera, and thank the Lord he didn't because it was absolutely all for him in the trees over there. Look at 
that though. And that's how not to do it. The tea is actually. Still see it. Um, the tea's buried. It's actually, I'm gonna bury it properly. There you go. RIP to the tea. RIP to that tea. So par four, nice and straight. Very windy, so apologies for the poor sound. Just to the right of the bunker. And that's up. I'll make sure I get his shot and I won't focus in on the, uh, the whole map. You might not want to get this shot, I tell you. Nice strike, just up on the right hand side. Yep, perfect position. It's carried. This is a long old par four. That white in the distance is not even the flag, that's the people in front of us. No, I think the red flag, but the red flag. Oh, it's a red flag somewhere, I still can't see it. But this back line is definitely a lot flatter. I'm just eating it along the ground, so that's how not to play golf. Could be worse, could be playing like me. Difference is, I'm always smiling, even when I play bad golf. I got used to it, Danny ain't got used to it yet. Now I've got a better view, there's a green. You might as well go around with your putter. Well, this is Matt's second shot. Martin, I've had three over there. As you've just seen, I'm basically putting my way to the green. That's a nice hit. Oh, lovely strike. Right on the green. On the button, that one. Oh. Strike. Stop there. Because we are free putting everything. Well, scuffing it along the ground and every other club. Another, another par three. Pretty straightforward. There is a bunker right in front of where the flag is. Um, it is saying, I think it's about 115. <clears throat> But the way we've been playing par threes, this is really difficult. The way I've been playing par threes for the last four months, I get better scores on a par five than I do on a par three. Just off the left edge. Still ain't hit the green. Still much better. Dancing. Yep, it's on. Nice par four, dog leg left. That's right, found the fairway. Proper Jekyll and Hyde today. Well, that's better. Oh, why don't you do that? Why don't you do that first time? Yeah. How about this for a hole? So that's where Dan's ball is. That's where mine is. We've had to walk up because you can't see the green. Proper downhill. Oh, look at that. Beautiful hole. Of course he finds a tree. Unless you that line's over the tree though, isn't it? Yeah. Such a difficult shot this one. If I'd have known I'd have gone to the left on my tee shot. Yeah. 
definitely the hardest hole so far. On the yeah, hundred percent. That's over. But it's on its way. It's definitely on its way there. Whatever. We'll find out when we get there. Yeah. Well, as Dan, as you know, Dan likes to find some difficult lies, so he's hit the tree because he always hits trees and he's ended up there. So, now it's not rolled down, it's just not fair, is it? Quick, no. move it, move that, let it keep going. No, it yeah, so many stones. take the drop from that, well, not drop, but move it off the path. So, he's dropped it. And this is a proper hill as well, I can't see it, just kept rolling down. How far you got? Uh, about 125. 125. And it's still downhill a bit. Bunker bound, but not a bad connection. I think you got lucky there, because that bunker looks like it's under repair, so. You're loving the bit of relief no, on this one. They always say if you're on that slope, then it slopes down and you can aim out. I did aim a little bit out, but it's not enough. Go and find my ball. Found my ball. This bunker, although it's looking a bit ropey. Going to be a nice fun shot, but Dan's has gone into that one, which is green under repair. So he gets a drop out. I've got to try and smack that out up onto a nice elevated green. So this is going to be fun. I've got to admit, that's the bunker, as you can see. Look, it's not in the best. Horrible liar as well, I can't really stand in the bunker. Oh, that was lucky that rolled back down. If that would have nestled there. Yep, it's out. Dan getting favours from the green staff. <laughs> yeah. It's the only favour they've done me today, though. That wasn't a bad shot. Similar to me, just not enough power up yeah, there though. It's on the fringe. Right, so we're at the next hole. Okay, we're 176 yard par three. It's elevated, you've got a big drop off to the right there as well. Um, and you know how much we love par three, so Take it away, Matt. Favourite holes. Oh, that's a nice strike. Long. Too long. Over the back. Golf gods hate me today. Hit clean shots and still end up in bad places. What about for Dan? He's taking the scenic route. Yeah. Took the scenic route, but it's ended up all right. Matt's ball. Did go off the back. Not too far, though. Using the hill. It's on. Not bad at all. Nice recovery. He's on for birdie. Has he got enough on it? Oh, that was a great putt. That went far out at all. Alright, so we've got a par five. Dog leg right. There's a bit of water in the distance. A few bunkers. A few ducks by the looks of it. Yep. Terrible. No, that's alright. It's a bit more of the range. Track man. Not a fence here though, so you've got to be wary of anyone hooking it. Take a ball to the bonce. Well, you found a fair weight. Yeah, I did. It's a long way to the hole from there. Still saying like 300 yards to the flag, so it's still a way to go. So much height on that. Yeah, I think that's terrible. 
splash. Oh, no. oh yeah, yeah, I think there was a splash. No, it bounced. Yeah, it never splashed. No, it just bounced. That broke my heart. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's have a walk up there and find <laughs> out, shall we? So, Dan's saying it's about 170 on his app. Green there, water on the left. And you know he don't like a crowd. Load of Canadian geese. Shout out to our Canadian followers. Well, you're not in the water. No. So, Max Ball didn't go in the water. I think I was just on a bit of a wind up there, but I'm sure I did see a splash. Just on the edge of the wispy stuff there, but it's not in the water. I must admit, we have been blessed with the weather today. Forecast was saying overcast, and it's been non stop sunshine, so happy days. It's a P roller, but like the end result ain't too sad. So, Matt's got. So, final slog, 18th. Can't wait for this round to end the way I've been playing today. Yeah, the wind's held that. Can Matt finish with a bomb? I hope so. over there. What are you going to do? Have a look for it. Yeah. About 150 yards for him to go now. So, just finished down here at Birchwood Park. Apologies for the poor sound quality. I know it was a bit windy today and obviously the microphone's broke halfway through, not even halfway through, is it? It's about a fourth, yeah. third or fourth hole. Um, so apologies for that. We will try and get new mics ASAP, so any future videos we do won't have sound quality like that. Um, but yeah, we just finished down here at Birchwood. Weather was lovely. Dan, you want to start with uh, your thoughts? Yeah, it's a, I think it's a, it's a strange course because the first nine holes are so hilly. Yeah, proper. Um, so many tee shots where you're playing blind, um, obviously... Can't see, can't see where it's going. Um, like I say, you play one hole up, one hole down, one hole up, one hole down, yeah. and it was really hard going. And some of them are like hills, yeah, like very that. steep. They are steep. They're very steep, um, which obviously makes it tricky as well. So obviously, when you're trying to you hit your approach shot into the green, it does make it difficult. And it was, we found it quite hard going the first nine, and I think that if it carried on that way, it would have ruined the round. I think, but. Luckily enough, the back nine was a lot flatter than, yeah, than that. that. And it was, I, I sort of, I think we eased into it a lot more, sort of the back nine. I, I preferred the back nine um, to the front nine. Um, and again, like I say, it's a new course to us. So, you know, it's, it's always it's always a bit tricky to, to know where you want to go and stuff. But if it's if the course is a lot flatter, it's, it is easier. So I think that's why I'm we're not very good at golf. Uh, <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, we'd take we'd take anything. But um other than that, my I think the greens are in quite good condition. Yeah, they were they were hard. The green greens are really hard. A lot of courses you tend to they tend to have like quite a flat level into the hole where these they were breaking right at the last minute. They're really, really hard to read. So if you're a good putter, it'd be a good challenge for you. But if you're not a good putter then expect plenty of free putts because they are hard greens. Fairly, fairly quick. Not the yeah. quickest, but fairly quick. But they're just challenging. Tough greens, I thought. I think disappoint. The disappointing thing I think was the bunkers. 
I think there was only sort of two that were in sort of good condition, had quite fresh sand. There was quite a lot that was under repair and even some of the ones that wasn't under repair probably should have been because I think they were just, they were solid. Yes. They had sort of weeds growing in them and stuff and it it lets the course down a little bit um, in my opinion because it's quite a well kept course um, and, and they seem to sort of, they must, they must take quite a bit of time with it, but just something like the bunkers. I spend a lot of time in bunkers, so yeah. it, it's quite a big thing for me. When they when the bunkers are rock hard, got stones in and stuff, I, I, I really sort of it really puts me off. But but I, I think other than that, I, I don't really. There's not too much bad about it in terms of even values. Okay. Yeah, and like the, faci the facilities here. So as you would have see, seen in the video, they've got a track man range of every single bay. So I've, that's probably the best driving range I've ever been to a, a golf club, bar the London club, which obviously hasn't got a track man, but that's different, that's better for different reasons. But yeah, one of the best driving ranges I've ever ever been to at a golf club. So no, good kudos for that. Better than Chelsea Lakes, who haven't got a track man, but advertise they do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then the course. I thought it was quite a hard course. Um, if, you, if you're playing, you expect a challenge because there, there are some hard holes, and I do. I know that a lot of them are similar with ups and downs, but. They were all different holes. Yeah, it's quite oh. a lot of dog leg. Yeah. Quite a lot of dog leg holes as well. Um, especially if you don't, you know, it's the first time playing the course again. You, We was finding, we were sort of walking further ahead to try and see where we needed to go yeah. because, you you know, you could be hitting into anywhere. Um, I think if you are playing here for the first time, you'd be wise to get a buggy. A, because of the hills and B, so you can actually drive up and have a quick look at, ahead of the hole and see what, what the layout is like because it... Something like, like Dan said, some of the holes are challenging, but yeah, no, I'd definitely come here again. I'd been here before, but not played played golf, I played foot golf on, on the other course they've got. Um, and obviously it was local to us, hence why we were here, but yeah, I think... It'd be, I'd, I think it would be good to play it again, just because we know the course, yeah, we definitely. know the holes now. So it might be a slightly different experience. Again, sort of, up, I agree with Matt, the, the driving range is fantastic, um, although... It highlighted how bad I actually am, yeah. and I was I was hitting shots, thinking I'm sure I hit that 130 normally, and for some reason it was like 105 and 120. I was like, it's not right. So, well, I do think as good as TrackMan is, when you're on the range, you're playing with range balls that they don't go as far as you know, brand new balls you're playing from the course. They're a bit dead sometimes, so I think you can expect to to lose a bit of distance. But at least if you're hitting like 10 shots with one club. All right, the overall distance might not be what you are hitting on the course, but at least you can see oh, I'm consistently hitting the same distance and stuff like that. So I can imagine they get quite a lot of business from that just for people not even sort of hitting on the range before they, yeah. they have a round. I think they might just come just for the track, man, because... And it, it looks like it's a bit set out, and when the lady come over, she, she was really nice, showed us how all the screens worked and the different games you can play, but I think it works a bit similar to Top Golf as well. But they've got like tables there, and you can order food and drink to your, to your yeah. uh, base, so... <laughs> Yeah, that is actually a point. She was very friendly, so yeah. that is a thumbs up for the staff because, <laughs> like I say, she did go out of her way to sort of make it easy for us. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do is a new one for this review. We've got a star rating, so we're going to put it up on the video so you'll see that and you'll see and what we think about the condition and we'll put it all in like, star rating with regards yeah. to the price and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, no, for me, and I suppose for you, you as well, gets a thumbs up from us. Yeah, Definitely, yeah. we we are going to definitely come back and play it, um, just to just to have a, a bit more knowledge of it, and we might play a bit better. I think. Well, I couldn't play much. <laughs> Maybe worse. I had a terrible day. Well, a terrible <laughs> day of golf, but I had a great time. So that's always good. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, just make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.